In this video we're going to review the control point dialog in LP360. We're going to use this to generate a accuracy assessment uh, for our data set. Uh, I've already loaded in uh, our control file, uh, the LAS uh, uh, data set file, and the raster file. First thing I'm going to do is uh, turn off the display of the LAS data. Um, one thing I've already done, I'm going to right click on the raster layer here, go to properties, and I've already disabled the enable uh, line linear percent clip. Uh, that way when I'm zooming in and out on my uh, checkpoints down here, um, the, uh, the display is not going to change uh, depending on my zoom level. It's kind of easier to identify the center of the uh, checkpoints that way. Uh, so if you've flown with a low-key uh, PPK RTK system or you've, even if you use uh, traditional control like this uh, specific data set, we use tr uh, traditional control uh, to do our, um, our uh, georeferencing, our corrections. Um, it's a good idea to have checkpoints just to verify the accuracy of your data set. So that's what we're going to be uh, doing right now. Uh, make sure you have your control points toolbar on and you're going to choose that uh, shape file, your control point uh, shape file. Uh, one thing uh, uh, to keep in mind if, you, if your control points or uh, checkpoint file uh, is an ASCII format, you'll have to uh, convert that into shape file format. We have a video explaining that in the importing ASCII uh, video. So just refer to that if you haven't done that yet. So let's um, click on our um, LP360 control points um, control points report dialog button up here. It's going to bring up this. Um, uh, by default, the quick set is going to be set to all. Uh, as long as you've uh, labeled uh, your control points uh, uh, using these uh, designations, either FK for full check, FC for full control, and so on. Uh, you can uh, quick set, um, guide yourself to those specific points. Um, I've uh, labeled all of my checkpoints as FK, so if I choose full check, it's going to drive me right to them. I've just got a few uh, checkpoints for this project. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. And uh, choose those specific uh, FK uh, points. Just zoom in a little bit more. And you don't want to click uh, uh, that dot is representing uh, that checkpoint in relation to the point cloud uh, and ortho that we've generated. So with the ortho, we are uh, determining the uh, horizontal accuracy or planimetric accuracy. Uh, and with the point cloud, which is still active, it's just not being displayed, we're going to be determining our vertical accuracy. So I'm just going to click and what looks like the center of the checkpoint. And then I'm just going to repeat uh, for the rest of the checkpoints. So it's going to give me um, um, different statistics in the control points report. <laughs> Uh, we're going to have mean error, uh, the uh, error range, uh, root mean square error, and our ASPRS accuracy class. Um, got an XY planning matrix, a combination of X and Y, and then we have vertical. Uh, this vertical is pretty important. It's, it's because it's going to tell us, um, it could tell us that we have uh, some bias in the data. This is 0 0.07 feet, so it's really good. Um, it's giving us our error range, so about a tenth of a foot error range. Uh, that's pretty good as well. Uh, RMSE, and uh, it's uh, basically your um, ASPRS class times three. Um, that's going to give you your minimum contour interval. So we're saying, based on the accuracy that we're seeing in this data set, uh, you can uh, do as a small contour interval is a quarter of a foot, which is really good. So, and it's going to be in the units uh, that your uh, project is in. So this project's in US Survey feet. You can see down here. Uh, if this was in a different uh, unit, uh, 
then uh, these numbers would represent meters or international feet, so on. So uh, one thing you want to consider as well is um, um, our project settings or, or, or what our uh, shape file is defined in as far as our coordinate reference system. Uh, let's go ahead and export the report. Just going to have all these statistics uh, that we were looking at. We're going to call it um, control report. Save. Let's go look at it. Okay, so you can see I've I already have my horizontal defined as U.S. survey feet, but I don't have my vertical defined. So what we can do. Go to file here, go to project settings. <coughs> I just clicked on this little radio button to the right of our project spatial reference system. Let's go ahead and define our vertical. So I know it's orthometric, uh, GLA 12B US survey feet. Click OK, click OK. I'm going to right click on that Ajax control, which is our control file. Uh, set layer SRS using project SRS. Yes, let's export this report again. We're just going to overwrite. Yes, let's look at that again. All right, so we can see both our US survey feet. So we got that designated. This is a text file, so uh, you can go in and edit this however you want. So I could, if this was in meters, I could go in and say meters. But really, the, the best way to do it is, is the way I showed you change those project settings, re export. And um, assuming you've defined your shapefile properly, it's going to show the right units up here. Okay. So you can see what we've already looked at before the um, XYZ um, vertical. Uh, the planimetric, of course, is X and Y combined. And if you look down here, it's showing the checkpoints that we chose uh, to run the accuracy assessment on. And it's showing those points we had turned off, which is going to be the full control. Up here, we have the base station location. Obviously, we don't use that either, so we have that turned off too. So just a great way to do an accuracy assessment and um, also have a good uh, polished report um, uh, after you've run that as well.